And even though I don't live here today, I feel like Dinwiddie's always going to be my home. Memories of playing on the football field. It was fun to wear the, you know, to, to wear the uniform and to, you know, have some kind of sense of school pride. And representing the Dinwiddie community is something Matthew Brefford always remembers when he comes back. I think it's important to be proud of where you come from. After graduation, he traded in the navy blue and white uniform of the generals for the green and khaki of the marines. I knew that this is my purpose. Like it was, I didn't even consider college. I didn't think about college. A year after he completed basic training, Matthew was deployed to Iraq in 2006. The following January, his life completely changed. I saw the command wire going in the ditch um, that went inside a pipe right underneath the road that I was standing directly over. And in a matter of seconds, it just exploded directly underneath me. It sent shrapnel into both my eyes and it removed my left leg and, and my right leg was severely damaged. Matthew was in the hospital for several weeks. During that time, he wondered how his approach to life will be. You know, my legs aren't gonna grow back. My vision is not going to get better right now, but why be depressed and sad? Like, you know, use this as, use these adversities as opportunities. And Matthew's motivation has pushed him every day since his injury 14 years ago. I didn't want to be a statistic. I wanted to live a normal life. I said, there's a guy that's got Dinwiddie, uh, you know, uh, went to Dinwiddie. In 2008, Matthew met current Dinwiddie head coach Billy Mills for the first time. And from that moment, their friendship grew. I think it's important what Coach Mills is doing here with these, you know, student athletes that, you know, teaching them the leadership that not only will it be helpful on the field, but it's helpful in life. Matt pops in there, man. And uh, you know, he's saying, man, appreciate you letting me be a part of this. And I'm like, Dude, you don't understand what you're bringing to the table with this stuff. Coach Mills invited the former general to occasionally speak to the team about the lessons he learned at Dinwiddie and abroad. There's times I've just, I said, Matt, you need to talk to them. I said, they hear me, you know, every day. I said, they need to hear that different voice. You know, they all want to play in college. They want to play in the NFL but it's going to take work. It's going to take being a leader. Last summer, when the Generals football team held weekly Zoom meetings during the pandemic, Matthew logged on as often as possible. I made it a priority that I'm going to jump on those Zoom calls. I told Brad, my AD, I was like, look, I said, uh, I think I'm going to ask Matt to join the staff. I said, he's on the Zoom every week anyway. Which led to Matthew being added to the coaching staff as the team's leadership coach. It still gives me goosebumps and it gets to the point where emotions are really involved. We're blessed. I mean, I heard him say that he was, but, uh, you know, we're, to me, we're getting the better end of this deal. Helping current and future generals become better men and women on and off the field. It meant a lot for him to take his time out of the day to, like, you know, to help show us how to lead a team. He's a great example how he fights every time type of adversity. No, no matter what's in his way. And while his uniform is different these days, Matthew's fight remains the same. I almost lost my life on one wrong step. We're never guaranteed that next step, that next day in life. So I'm gonna take advantage of each and every opportunity. I'm just gonna simply live life to its fullest.